G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jean Wordle, and I've been waiting all week to say this, welcome to Horde 9 in Demolishers Only, tonight is going to be rather off its face, I won't lie, it's going to be a whole horde of nothing but demos, which means that everything that I know how to build is going to be completely worthless, because they're going to tear through anything like it's paper mache. Overnight, I was a good little survivor though, and I've started rigging up my new house to be a bit more usable. I really like how it's turned out. Got my storage, got my forge, got my campfire, and I've also very cheekily chuck in my Jew Collector directly underneath a little bit of a skylight up there. So you're actually working away getting some fluids for me. Love that. I do have the intention though eventually of moving them out to here. I've got a nice little platform out of here, ready to go. But the sun is rising, so I only have a couple of hours to figure out what I'm going to do about the whole demo problem I have. Just... Okay, I, I tried to boob you because I wanted some breakfast, but nah, I guess not. Oh, too late for that now. Got to crack on. The first thing I do need to do, though, is quickly run back down, grab my bike. I'll open you for when I come back again and pedal on off because I've been reading the comments that you guys have been leaving about all of my mistakes I've been making and apparently there's been a lot of them. And apparently when I went into the safe room at my last house in that like that little bunker behind the bookshelf, the bookshelf bunker, I like that. Apparently I actually missed the loot that was in this. I'm gonna quickly pedal on back, jump into there and see what I can find and hopefully find something worthwhile. But I do need to mention, actually, while I'm getting here, I do need to mention that I've done some experimentation. The demo perk, in fact I have some skill points to spend, but the demolisher perk doesn't actually increase the damage of demos on other demos. I went and tested it, that does not do anything, which is a bit of a shame, but also, can't go in that way. People have been asking what's, uh, like, if there's still screamers in this mod or if all uh, the zombies in our demos, so there's no more screamers. There are still screamers. They still spawn. They're just demolishers and they still scream and call in hordes. So that's going to be a massive problem. It's going to be hard enough to kill them already, but now they're going to be armored and explosive. There it is. Call in more screamer demos. It's just a bad time. It's just a bad time all around. So apparently, oh, 2,000 health. Apparently this is where the loot is. I have to quickly bust it open and see. But yeah, there are still screamers that is dressed up like demos and demo, uh, damage doesn't get increased with the explosive perk. I tried it, tested it, not a thing. Oh, oh we're almost there. We're almost there. If there's nothing below this crate and the comments have had a laugh, set me up the stream and taking the big old P1 level five, making me, uh, made me break down a 2000 health point block for nothing, I'm gonna be upset. And it would be totally be a comments thing to do. Ah, they didn't lie to me. You didn't lie to me, appreciate that. Thank you, cheeky ammo box. In fact, I could break you down for some steel, I think. Is that still a thing? It used to be a thing. Forged iron, no forged steel out of you. One forged steel, beautiful. I mean, it's only the one, but I'm happy to have it. Thank you very much. All right, and with that, I guess that means that this POI is now well and truly done for. I can whack out back out the door, jump back on my, ooh. Jump back on my bike and grab some free loot while we're at it. Anything good? A rifle's book. Actually, that gets me to the other point. People have been pointing out that I can make an iron spear and I can also make a hunting rifle, but I need the workbench to do it. I'm stuck with the pipe stuff and the stone spear until I can make my workbench, which is still several books away. How far away is it actually? It's three more books. Three more books away. Come on. There's another free loot bag just on the fence here. That's probably the good thing about the whole world being demos. Demos have a reasonably good drop rate of... Oh, I'm not rolling sledges, but thank you anyway. A pretty good drop rate of loot bags, and loot bags are actually pretty good. So having them time out and die overnight, and having just kind of like a spattering, a little sprinkling of fuck yeah, of loot bags all over the shop is actually pretty good for me. I do need to go and check the traders as soon as they open, because it is day seven, they're very stocked. I need to spend those skill points. And I think as I swing you about, so I'm ready to take off in the morning. And I think because I am just so desperate to get those workstations, I'm going to put a point into... I've already got a point into lockpicking. All right, with the, the lack of books I've been finding, I thought that I hadn't yet, but no, nah, I guess we did. In that case, then I'm going to go bam and bam. One more point to spend. 
Another, mm, yeah, another point into Spear Master, actually. The better my spears can be, the better off I'm going to be when the Horde shows up. I've grabbed all the stuff that I want to sell. I do have this tier 3 spot helmet. I don't normally roll heavy armor. In my mind, the best defense is just to not get punched in the face in the first place, which seems like a pretty good tactic, if I'm being honest. And heavy armor slows you down that much, but until you find that book, uh, the urban combat book, that means that you no longer get slowed down in combat, I think I want to stick with the light armor as opposed to the heavy armor because what's the noise increase plus 10? Ooh. Actually, yeah, so you're noisier. You're 10% noisier. Mobility is decreased triple. Oh, is it only? No, it's, it's only it's an extra 2%. Okay, I thought it was 2 into 6, but no, it's 6 into 4. So that's. Uh, it's not that much worse. Yeah, all right, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Why not? Treat yourself to a little bit of head protection. Seems like a great shout to me. You've already got the helmet light on you. In fact, I'll take it out of you to save you for later. Um, yeah, nah. I hope I hope I don't live it to regret that one. I rarely roll heavies, but we'll see if it works out. Oh, not now. Have you guys seen me yet? I hope not. I almost jumped out of the roof. I think that is passing by. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. They're hunting woodles. In fact, they're passing on. And that's a great example of why I wanted to move here because that has that outer fence. That perimeter fence, it goes around, or not all of it, but around some of the property. If I can get up onto the tippy top, please. Almost. There you go. So because that's like a nice solid line all the way around, they'll hit that and slide along and then go around that way and bypass, look at that, bypass my little, my little hovel over here. Pretty bloody stoked with that, actually. All right, I'm going to leave them there. I'm just going to go jump on my bike and go off the tradies. Let's not pick a fight that big this early. <laughs> They're going to come for me later on anyway. There's no need to uh, hurry that up at all. Going to quickly go and check uh, tradies' vendo to see there is no more sugar butts in there. I do have my sugar butts on me. Please have some of the books that I need. I have a good amount of dosh on me now, so if you do have something... I can buy, you've got the three rifle world books and not really much else. Not a super lot else. Anything else is gonna get me fizzy though. I've got rifle parts, that's fine. An AK. An AK would be a pretty good shot. Any sort of machine gun would be a good idea. Just sheer amount of damage, that's what I'm after. You're also gonna sell me a tier two spear, but I can make that already. Oh, no, I don't think it's, I don't think I should be spending money on that kind of stuff. I think maybe the AK, if I can afford it at the end of all this. Anything else especially tempting? No, I am disappointed that you didn't have uh, any of my Forger head books. And I can't have gone looking for that today anyway. I've got to prepare for the Horde. I can't go hit up the Cracker books. Well, just the cash alone is going to be more than the three grand minimum to make the Sugar Bites worthwhile. So definitely pop in you. Grab that and sell all of this. Big chunk of change coming my way. Always sell the brass now. It's a new thing I've learned because I was doing it wrong before. Definitely was. Made myself six and a half grand. Beautiful. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is buy those books. Buy you. I don't need oh, assault rifle craft. No, I don't really need the rest of you at all. I'll take you. So I might be able to get a DD at some point. It's a long way off, though. 6,600 bucks for a tier 4 AK. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Treat it like it's Parks and Rec and you're working Appreciate badly for the else. government. Yes, Treat old. yourself 2024. That was a good call, actually. Those three rifle books gave me the hunting rifle level three. All I need now is the workbench to do it. In fact, hang on. Did I even, did I even check for that? I don't think I did. You know, I'd give you I'd give you exactly $6,689 oh, $6, for a workbench there, Cobham. Oh, you're missing out. That's a big stack of change that you're not going to get now. I've got this nice open field over here, which I might be able to use to build my horde base. I'm getting anxious already. I'm already feeling like I'm ranting and raving and carrying on like a stone chook, trying to figure out what the dickens I'm going to do. But I've got this nice open field here, away from my house. I'm absolutely not going to fight a horde in my brand new house over there. But I can build something here. I reckon some sort of like, some way to trap... The demos, I've got I've got plenty of mollies, and mollies are good because they ignore armor. So I can actually use Molotovs against the demos pretty well. So there's some way to trap the demos in some sort of pits. Chuck some Molotovs down there, get the flamey goodness going. Watch them all burn like marshmallows on a campfire. 
and just kind of like deal with the waves that way might be the best way to do it. So potentially some sort of like platform with a drop. I'm not super concerned about like actually building a pit for them. Demos will make their own pit. But if I can just get them, oh, uh, actually, if I did that wandering hawk could come here now, I could make a hole and then use that as part of my base. But they're gone now. It's too late. I'm actually just gonna go and see if there's still. Oh, there's still a few left over here. All right, it's gonna be better for me to try and uh, lure them away. Yeah, get out, everyone. Lure them away. Using the old footsies rather than uh, try and ride the bike. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of them, eh? There's a, there's a there's a cheeky couple of them. Cheeky coupler. All right. Well, if you all want to come with me, please. In fact, I'm gonna yeah, come on, come over here. Come over to the open plains. I'm gonna use you like excavation equipment. Come on. Keep coming, keep coming, one after the other. I'm like the mother duck squawking at her kids. You're over the hills and far away, but you're coming back for dinner. This is um, <laughs> this is quite the sight, isn't it? Old mate, oi, old mates at the back have given up the ghost. You wanna, you wanna follow me there, please, champion? Yeah, come on, come on. Here you go. See a lesser player here would panic, but I'll have you. Oh, I'll have you know that I'm a professional and I never make bad decisions ever. I'm totally fine. It's, I'm sure this will go perfectly. So somewhere about here, I think is gonna be the spot. So you'll do. Get you tickled. That's what I wanted. Couple of daisy chains. Get rid of some of the ground. More of the ground. All right, nice. I need to lead. That's the deepest bit. I need to lead you guys into the hole. You're there perfectly. Missed it. In fact, you probably would have got it out of the hole before you popped anyway. I'm just gonna dig my way. There you go, to the other side of somewhere. Ow, I was a bit too close. There goes another one though. All right, we're good. Oh, I'm not really going down at all, am I? I'm more just kind of going across and pockmarking the land. That's okay. Old mate's, got, old, old mate's had enough and he's gone off to beat some wood instead. I suppose it's half past nine in the morning. Why not? Why not? That's your morning routine. Have the best time. Done it well. Oh, shit, shit. Right. <laughs> what did I say four seconds ago? I'm a professional. It's okay, guys. I'm a professional. Well, clearly I'm fucking not absolute goober. What a genuine galah I am. I spawned near my backpack because I've forgotten where my bed is. I'm 100 meters away. So, not explicitly permadeath. I wanted to, I wanted to give this um, demo-only mod a try and see how it was going to go. I'm surprised I lasted seven days before I cooked it. But, you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We grab. We take. We move on. We continue our excavations. Right. Well, I played with fire. Or rather, I played with bombs and didn't even, <laughs> didn't even achieve what I wanted to and paid the ultimate price for it. Not clever. I am not a clever boy. Okay, I need to go and get some resources. I need to go get some wood. I need to go get some cobblestone. I need to start getting set about building. I still I still think it's the right move. The problem is the demo is going to be so bleeding quick. Oh, I'm going to die immediately. I'm going to die immediately in this bloody horde. Demos are so bleeding quick that they're going to catch up to me straight away anyway. I might need... I might need to figure out a better way to fight them. Potentially, like, luring them in... And then over hurdles or something to try and get them to stagger. I don't have a lot of cobblestone either, which is not great for me. You can go into that one. I'm going to eat you straight away. I'll keep my bike with you, but the wheel can go away. But I do have that new AK. Probably should have used you a second ago, hey? I've just had an idea, which uh, is not a good one. It's not a good one at all. It's very different to everything else I've built before. But I think given what I'm trying to deal with, I need to build something different to everything I've built before. Instead of building some sort of corridor or something, like I know how to control the pathing of zombies. That's fine. So instead of building like a regular corridor or something with like a drawbridge dropper, I don't have the tech to do that right now. What about instead if I just used me as bait and tried to group up the zombies that way? So like, like with a combination of ladders or something, try and get them all to follow me up a ladder or something like that. Group them all as much as possible so one Molotov does the most amount of damage. That might work. I, I might have to build a couple of them because one little nipple clip or really one pissed off demo and the whole thing's going to come down anyway. But might, 
not be an awful idea. I can't build myself 11 blocks away to stop the destroy everything mode. I don't. That's a super duper option for me. But if I just get up a little bit, force them to follow me up a tower, because the Molotov has like an area of effect in like a cylinder. So if they're all on one ladder and I throw a Molotov at them and then jump off the top, that'll do a fair amount of damage, I think. That's actually, that might actually be okay. Very early crow for that though. Given, given I just carked it, very early crow. Speaking of carking it, actually, I was thinking about like the whole like not being permanent thing and what the punishment would be for dying. And rather than like throwing away all weapons and stuff, I'm gonna say I've got three lives. Three lives and I'm out. So like things like that, because I am so squishy compared to these guys, things like that, that's now one life gone. I'll probably lose the other two in the horde night tonight, but I guess we'll see. One life down, two to go, and then that's it. Then that's it. because. I want to actually give this a proper go. I really thought I'd die on day one, but I made it much further than I thought I was going to. I'm still having way too much fun to put it down yet. There's a drop coming in, but that's okay. I'm going to quickly count out my 11 blocks. Because if I have, what I'm thinking is, if I have like a bit of a junction over here with a couple of different, oh, yep, there you go. You're now supported. A couple of different access routes up. I can get as many demos as possible in one small confined area. And then if I whip like a Molotov onto that central pillar then the fire will spread, all the zombies will burn. In fact, I might even, I was going to put the ladders on the outside like out on this end here, but I think I'll put it on this side instead. So like you, if I go up like that, and then that one, and potentially, no, I won't go the middle one as well, because that will mean they'll all choose the middle and not the ours ones at all. If I go like that, that'll mean they all have options up. There shouldn't be too many bottlenecks. They shouldn't start beating on shit. I think that's the best call. Where did that, where did that drop come down actually? Where did the drop come down? opening trade routes all the way out north all the way out north it's a long way to go and it, it will have some books for me so like it's always a good thing to get but i think it's just too far for me to go right now uh, yeah focus on the horde pace first it's already after midday i was about to start shipping away these blocks i've already upgraded because i was thinking this would be oh jesus getting very close this would be a pretty good uh, chance to use the horse jump ai breaker thing where they kind of get stuck on the poles and can't jump over it and just kind of push each other through that would kind of work out really well here but i don't think i remember how to build it properly and if i break their pathing then it's all kind of shit out of luck anyway uh i'm 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 not entirely sure i think i'm, I'm gonna try i'm gonna try and gamble on it i think it was like there was a sheet underneath and then the pillars on top. Oh my god, I don't remember. I don't remember. It's my own bloody design and I can't bloody remember it. I'm gonna have to bring up my own video to try and teach me how to build my thing. G'day guys, my name's Josh. You can call me Jean Woodle and I did go and look it up. You're welcome for your own ad revenue, Woodle. <laughs> Just supporting yourself, pat myself on the back. So I got the sheet there, the block there, and then this was the pillar. Not those ones, it was the 0.05 pillar. I'm gonna rotate you around to go like that. Now, I don't know if this has been patched. It's been a long time since I built one, and we all know that <laughs> we all know that some things get patched pretty quickly. Uh, so I don't know if this is still gonna work, but I'll give it a go. Because if this is gonna just give me a couple of seconds, like I'm, I'm not building this thinking it's gonna be the be all and end all of all of this, but if this gives me a couple of seconds just to kind of sort out my life, I'm gonna put you up like that so you can hold the pillars in place in case things go badly. There's a couple of seconds to group the, the demos up more that's gonna make the, um, the Molotovs even more effective. Okay, so from them, that's an extra, oh, that's a long way down. That hurt a little bit, but it's an extra couple of blocks from where I counted that 11 to. So really, I'm gonna build, I think, a couple of these. Just a couple, so I can stand there, I can let them group, throw the Molotov through the horse jump, actually, and then while they're burning, jump off the other end, I'll put some hay bales down here, jump off the end, run to the next one, and just kind of keep on pathing them to me, grouping them up, and then burning them down. Oh, it's such a bad plan, though. <laughs> it's such a bad plan, but I'm hoping it's gonna work. This is taking ages to do, actually. Do I have... Do I have the ability to make... Oh, it's such a long way down. I'm gonna break my ankles doing that. Do I have the ability to make a claw hammer yet? You claw hammer. I would if I had some three duct tapes while I was crafting, coming to the four again. So you, duct tape. I can make 13, just the three for now, please. Grab one of you. 
Ham, um, but this is gonna save me so much time. Got everything else that I need. That's all bloody beautiful. And one more. Thank you. Craft up you. It's only, in fact, hang on. I don't need a tier two. Make me a tier one. It's gonna be a little bit cheaper. And that, yeah, that's, that's a better idea. That's fine. I don't think levels actually matter all that much. Maybe for, uh, for some um, durability reasons, but not all of that. There's the, the ones I need for the hay bale. You, hay bale after you. All right, we're getting cracking. I really wish I had have got that workbench going though, because having a um, having a proper hunting rifle for this would have been so much better. In fact, where's north? North is out that way. That's where the drop's gone down. 600 meters away. That's a stretch, and over the hills. <laughs> that's that's where all the ducklings have gone. The ducklings are demos. I, I want to go and try if it was flat land, maybe, because it might have those, uh, those forge ahead books in it. I just don't think it's worthwhile for the moment, though. Like, it might give me the hunting rifle. It could give me the hunting rifle. But it's just more important for me to have this up and going. This will save my life more than a new hunting rifle will. This is better. Look at that. Got the new hammer. I'm just going to go you guys to cobblestone because i'm about to run out of cobblestone actually i'm not really too concerned about the strength of the rest of this stuff it's unlikely for these to get hit uh by demos once they're up here so that should be fine you you yet another reason why the scaffold ladder is the best because you can go through it not like the other bloody ladders all the way to the top you definitely need to be cobbleized you're nice and cheap to do and in fact i'll do that side as well I'm all out of cobble. That's, that's all the cobble I've got. I've smelted all of my clay. That was actually pretty silly of me. That would have come in a lot of handy. All right. So this is just a disaster. <laughs> this doesn't make me feel good at all. I'm going to try and group as much as possible. Demos go up. I need to go like around that way. It's a dicey jump around like you. I, oh, I did. I, I, oh, hang on a second. I see you under there. You. Need to be a cobble as well. Got two cobblestones remaining. I can stand down here and try and pop them if I need to. But as soon as they're grouped up, throw a Molotov right there. That should burn all of them. And then jump off the end like that onto the hay bale and run off to the next one. I really regret doing this. Uh, this this was dumb. It cost me a life. It didn't even work. That was not my best moment, but. I guess, I guess we do the same again then. Just kind of copy that and build another one, but in reverse. It's a good shake easier to make what, uh, any sort of horde base where you're just kind of copying what you've already done. I only took you on a couple of hours and I've already put down the whole thing. One more, please. There you go. Look at that. I mean, it's all, it's all just wood frame at the moment. At least I have two options then. Grab you. Quickly chuck you into the ground. Nice. Okay, so I also have to use the same ladders that the demos do, which is probably not a fantastic plan. I think to try and mitigate that, I'll put in some emergency ladders on the side of the pillar that supports where I'm going to be standing. That's the wrong spot. I need to be very, very prudent about how I spend my resources. These don't really need to be upgraded at all, I don't think. You go there, you go there, and you go there. Just a regular frame will be fine. But it's out of harm's way, so it should be good. Just, I don't want to have to run up where the demos are and get myself stuck. I'm making myself some extra cobble as much as I can to try and get this as reinforced as I possibly can. Don't have the concrete. Really bloody wish that I did. Just the bottom three and then the center line all the way along. I think that's the right way to do it. Your not cobblestone underneath there. Need to make sure at least like the main pillar is supported into the ground because the demo pops nearby. All the dirt's gonna get broken anyway, so there'll be nothing to hold the whole thing up and everything will just collapse. Oh, it's now it's now six o'clock. I'm glad I didn't go for the dirt, bro. There's no chance I was making it home again. Bonds are made, got another skill point to spend. But every level up I get now is just going to make the horde worse. I ended up just doing what I was trying to avoid in the first place and continuing the excavations into the hole. Got a nice big pit here, which has given me a fair amount of clay. In fact, more clay than I have stones to make some more cobble with. So you're whirring away. I'm going to upgrade the rest of you. Nope, that doesn't need to be cobble. That's all fine. These ones here need to be cobbled all the way along the guts of it, right up the spine. Oh, jeez, I've got a couple of hours. I mean, after this is done, I'll go and get the um the Molotovs and the ammo and everything else I might need and start getting ready for the horde to show up. But it's taken me all day to build these two scraggly little things. That's that's not great. It never stops. It never stops. I got the cobblestone that I need. Oh, I can see some boxes through there. It was a couple of parts. 
There's a bunny in there as a oi flopsy. Wanna bring us out some loot, please? That's a cheeky little shortcut. Some pretty decent loot at the end of that POR, but now is not the time for looting. Just try and repress and suppress all of your inhibitions, and you're gonna have to turn it down and come back for it later. But after all of that uh, faffing about to get myself all the cobble, I neglected to keep an eye on my wood. And not for the first time in my life, I don't have enough wood to do the job, but at least this time, I can fix it. I think this is it for the construction. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. I need a couple of scraps of wood. Uh, you two. I need eight, I think it was, for a block. I've now got eight on me. Is that going to be exactly enough? It is. Zero splinters left on me. Nice. Okay, so that one's up. That one's up. I think I might need some sort of protection down here. Maybe a door or something. So when things get real bad, I can close the door and run. Just to give me a couple of seconds, but... I suppose if I make it through there, I'm kind of on my own anyway. Plus, I'm not really hanging about and waiting for them. Once I get grouped up, I'll start throwing mollies. All right. Well, let's go chuck some shit away. Let's go get prepped for Horde Night. Put some food in. <laughs> this is going to go so badly. I am I am not in any sort of prepared state. I don't even have an everyday gubbins box at the moment. I don't have the wood to make a chest. So instead, I was going to have to go... A uh, bit of an old-fashioned method. Just chuck a little box I can. The sellables box. Just don't sell it in the morning, please. Keep you with me. I need first aid stuff. I'll take both you and you. You're going to get me through the night pretty well, I think. Bacon and eggs. I'll chuck you in immediately because I'm a bit thirsty. A little bit parched. Chuck in some red tea too. Recog might save my life. Do I have any... I don't have any Mega Crush. I really kind of wish that I did. All right, then. Never mind, then. I'll drink some fluids. You can hang out in there. Uh, first aid kits. You, 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 you. Ford bites is probably a great idea as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll take all of that because let's be honest. Um, <laughs> hydration is a massive issue right now. Biggest issue is my health bar. It's all about to kick off. I have actually an obscene amount of ammo. I've got a thousand rounds of nine millimeter. I've got 900 rounds. Almost a thousand rounds in total of 762. The issue is my ammo, the issue is my ability, and my complete and utter lack of talent. But here we go. Here we go. It's all come down to this. I have... Oh my goodness gracious. That's so many. Um, right. Please work. It looks like it's working. Don't walk too far forward, because I will start beating on shit. Don't wait. Don't wait. Just burn. It's burning the ones on the ladder as well. That's worked bloody perfectly. And while they're doing that... Might I put a couple of, put a couple of rounds with their faces as well. Chuck in some recoil for that extra damaging goodness. One's come over the top. That's bad. He's gone gooey. He's fine. All right, time to go. Oh, I went off the side. I went off the side that didn't have the bloody hay bale because I am an absolute spanner. Run over to this one. You guys want to go to the next set of ladders? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Beautiful. I'm going to chuck an extra molly. Early molly. Down again. They're all burning nice and fast. Go like you. I've got a good amount of molotovs. I'm going to run out before the end of the horde night, though. But even so, you've got your buffs in rifles, dick cheese. Why don't you... <gasps> Why don't you bloody use them? There goes, a, there goes a block. Gone. Good shooting text. Fast up. Oh, I th I th I did I get him? I'm not sure that I did. I definitely didn't. Oh, reloading is slow. Reloading. Oh, shit. Oh, the lags might fucked me. I'm trying to get up the ladder. The lags like, nah, cobble. I'll take the long way around. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> They've destroyed that whole other horde base immediately. Just get them burning and get out of here. Don't ever risk them breaking the next one. You need that one to survive. If they break that, we're fucked. Please don't break everything. Please leave that one standing. I need it. So now it's just, now it's just this game, is it? We're just going to run around, try and land on things that are a little bit higher up than the regular ground. Oh, they're very fast. Very fast, very scary. Up we go along the next one. Get the Molotov ready. Up, over we go. Run to the end. Chuck it on the ladder. They're coming up. So we're just going to run an obstacle course then. Sick. All right, love that for us. It's a little bit cute. It's a real good idea for date night. I'm not sure that's what you had in mind when you cocked this one up, Josh. Uh, go like this. Chuck it right, right up the guts. That was probably a shit arm, and it's also wasting a Molotov. Okay, up we go. I think all of them are on fire that could be on fire. Onto that one. Drop down. Oh, just keep on moving. Just keep on moving. Don't even try and fight. Just run, Molotov, and turn up. 
Over we go. Light up that one. Right there. Perfect. As long as they're burning, I think we'll be okay. I just, I worry about that though. I, I, I've already, oh shit. I've already had one collapse. I don't really want another one. Back off the edge. That's looking a lot worse for wear. This is a shambles. It's gone on for an hour and it's already pissed up the wall. I've got to level up, which is great for me. I'm going to go over the top and really quickly. Oh, it's about time we're doing this. Perception uh, demo. I'm pretty sure you dictate Molotovs. I bloody hope that you do. One of the blocks is gone. There goes a Molotov. Get it, India. Most of them are burning, I think, except for you. In fact, come over here. Come over here. I might need to save myself a couple of mollies and start clapping some nipples instead. That works. Oh, it doesn't work. They're coming up behind me. Oh, they snuck up behind me like a librarian. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to go old school methods. I've run away from my horde bench, which is silly. Chuck it up in the sky. Let them run into it. Perfect. Works for me. All right, get through the bloody higgledy piggledy mess that is this road. No! My fucking not even horde base. My platform of doom. Oh, I'm so slow. Salmon is gone. Salmon is gone. Up over the top. That's going to have to do us though. Get you guys burning again. And just see if I can rinse a couple of noggins up the top. I do have the recon going after all. So make use of it. Reload faster. Reload faster. Please is coming for me. That was a dicey shot to go for. Uh oh, we're going. We're going. We're going. We're down. We're gone. We're off. Is there still a ladder on this one? There is. Okay, up we go. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this a lot. I need my stamina to come back faster, please. Oh! I had to wait as long as I could. As long as I bloody could. Jumping is what cooks it. I need to jump up ladders faster. Up you go. Over. And then over you go again. I need some fluids. Fluids. Get it in here. I need that juicy, juicy stamina regen. Got that right there. Burn them all. Down we go. Oh my god, I hate this. Shit. He's come around the long way. Um, Have I got you loaded? Not quite. I might have to go. Give me nipples. Give me nipples or give me death. Shit. They're going to give me death instead. Run. There's only one ladder remaining. That one's not even working anymore. So that last. Oh, shit. That last one that goes down. Ah, my leg. My leg. Oh, no. This one's gone too. Um, What's your plan, Josh? What's your plan? That one. That's your plan. Get your steroids in. Fast, 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 please. Fast, please. And you all brought the steroids for a reason. Another one's gone. Okay, I need to get back up on top so I can have a little bit of peace to chuck on my... Oh, I don't... I don't have that point in, um... In position. I don't really have the time to put it in there either. I'm going to try. I'm going to try for it. You. Uh, that one. No! I... Ah! Damn it! Yeah, no, I know that hurt, but you're going to have to try anyway. Cop that one. We've gone two hours. Two hours. I'm not looking any more likely to survive this. Any nips? Any nips? No nips. No nips. Okay, run. Uh, I need I need some sort of way to get a break between it. It's some walls or something. Oh, I don't want to go in the house. Oh, fuck. Oh, excuse me. Over we go. Stamina, stamina, please stay with me. There's a lot of good loot bags just there. Up. Up you go. I don't think I want to use this ladder. I do want to use this ladder because I'm on the top of it. Over we go. Molotov again. Right there. They're breaking the shit because that ladder is absolutely bananaed. I can't use you. All right, faster. You. I need to go that one, that one, and then that one. Beautiful. Do I have a split? I don't. I can use you to instantly heal. Oh, no. To instantly heal my broken, my, uh, my skewered leg, though. My sprained leg. That's the one I'm looking for. Chuck a Molotov down there. Chuck a cheeky first aid kit in. They're breaking the rest of those blocks. I don't really know how I'm still standing at the moment, but I'm very thankful for it. Down my last stack of Molotovs as well. When this comes down... Oh, this is like Humpty Dumpty. When this comes down, we all come down. Oh, we're going down. Yep, that's exactly what I was expecting to happen. Cop that right in the guts, please. Oh, I missed him though. Um, I need I need some way to break the pathing. I need some way to break the pathing. Can I... Can I get on top of the passing gas? I think I can in the back in the back of it. Just get some bullets down range. Uh, I need to get to the back the back of the building. Are you open? You're not. Over we go. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Up to you. Oh, got to be clutch jumps. Clutch jumps. Come on, stamina. Oh, come on, stamina. Nice. Up you get. All right. Well, that's gonna pop a whole bunch of them. I have no idea what's gonna happen to them now. But I'm on top of the roof. Now what do I do? I'm going to try and lure them out the front so at least I have some sort of idea of what I'm going to do about it. I don't know where they are, though. If I don't let my stamina come back, I need to get some water into me. In fact, you would be a really good thing for me to have right now. In you go. 
Shame chowder, get that extra stamina goodness. Things are getting broken, things are getting dicey. I think oh, I, I should still have that way up in the back. It's a bloody hope that I do. I might actually go. I need some sort of building material, so I'll grab you real fast. Yeah, grab that one because I'm going to need some rampy blocks if things get real bad. Okay. Well, there's one. Might even just go like that and see if I can sit you up. If there's a few of them, actually. Yeah, go on. Go on, out there. Four's, four's definitely a target worth taking. Cop that damage in your helmets. I don't know what else they're breaking. As long as the stairs at the back stay up, though, I might have a chance getting back up here. Stamina's good. We'll see how we have this, what, we, what we can see. See what we can see. See, see, they're all inside the building. So get them all on fire. You're locked and loaded. Oh, that's a nipple shot, though. Run. Got some credit for it. Nipple shots might actually get me through. Slap titties like it's good for you. Oh, that was heckin' close. Okay, we're fine. Stamina comes back. Oh, we have our way through. Is there a way up? Is my way slap still going? Yes, it is. Nice. It's a way for me to use, but not for them. Up, up, and up. Nice, Gary. You guys can cop that immediately. Except I missed you both because I'm a goddamn cock shammy. There we go. He wandered into a beautiful. Rumor has it, actually. If I know rumor has it, but like... Judging by the distinct lack of other demos around here, this might be the end of the wave. And if it is, I mean, I'm okay with that. I might just go like that and just finish this off for good. Are we all right? I think we're all right. I have no idea how I survived that. Look at the world, though. It's a shambles. I have no idea how I've come out on top, but I have somehow. The bases are gone. Both bases are gone. The random passing gas was my savior. Most of my Molotovs are gone, but me and all of my squishy bits are still intact. What a good day. I quickly ran home just to get all of my regular gubbins back into me. My food's still good. Still got the bonus of the steroids, so very quickly... I've got no skill points to spend. I still think that was a fan, fan flip fantastic decision. Under the heat of battle, spending those points where I needed to, fumbling through the menus with all of my opposite thumbs. Bloody beautiful work by me. Read you. You better give me something good. It's a lot of good red loot bags for me. Scrap you, drink you. Feel good about myself for half a moment. 500 smackers in you as well. I will scrap you. I'll take the rest of that. Oh man, I cannot cannot believe I came through that. I I fumbled and fucked up with the Wandering Horde and died at midday, but then made it through that Horde night? That is ridiculous. But I only survived because I ran out of demos. If I had kept on going for a while, I was absolutely roasted. Last loot bag, I think, is this one down here. I've grabbed everything else I could find. Oh, a cheeky Ooh. coffee. I've... And a, and a bicycle chassis as well. I was looking for you for ages, but you finally chopped out and gave us one. Oh, look, a cheeky chest from a million years ago. I don't think there was any others around anywhere. I think that's probably all she wrote. Nothing through here. Nothing in there. There is not much left of the servo. Right. Well, that is a pretty roaring success somehow. By the skin of a chook's tooth, I've made it through that. But dub is a dub. Win is a win. Goes on the scoreboard. It's like a golf card. Doesn't matter how you get a birdie. Just matters it goes in the, in the cup, I assume. Never got a birdie in my life. But I am going to have to leave this episode here and come back to continue Demolisher only with a twist. I talked about doing all that testing earlier this morning to figure out some things. There was something else I was figuring out. Um... The fact it was calling in screamers might give you a hint. But we're going to continue for one more week of Demolisher Only. I only intended on this being a week-long series just to give it a bit of a whirl and see how it is. But I'm having so much fun. I'm going to go for another week. But turn it up to 11. But I'm going to come back and turn it up to 11 for another week in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.